that is a question that I try to elude. I prefer to allow people to be the judge of my character. However, I'd say I am compassionate. I'm a strong woman and altruistic. And those are character traits that I inherited from my dear mom. I recently completed a master in oil and gas management and it was a difficult journey. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I wanted to contribute to the local development and contribute that expertise from a local perspective to my country. I've been a national athlete since primary school and I always had to take home good grades to accompany my medals and trophies. Who at the school level, uh, I was fortunate to have loving disciplinarian educators who, regardless of my athletic performance and how well I represented St. Margaret's Primary, subpar academics was not tolerated. I was not pardoned from homework or any class activity or anything. So at a young age, I had to strike that balance and I have channeled those potentials or those capabilities to my adulthood and it is not easy but it allows me to cope with my different uh, cope and function in my various capacities. That could be one um, but I'd say perseverance. All right? Dedication and perseverance are key to goal achievement. So I try to use my losses and disappointments and as learning curves i go back to the drawing board and see how i could improve my performance to win and when i say win i do not necessarily mean that i'm going to be the leader of the pack or number one on all occasions of course we all aspire to be number one or to lead what i mean when i say win i must be able to improve my previous performance that is what winning means for me so I use those disappointments and losses as learning curves and I assessed my activities, my performance to see how I could train harder or work harder to be a better person, a better athlete generally. I'm happy you touched on that very sensitive and important topic. I have been fortunate to not experience gender bias in sport or administration. But it does not mean because I have not experienced it that I am nonchalant to its existence. I believe it's a global conversation that needs attention from all, regardless if you're affected or not. I advocate for gender parity and equal opportunities for all. It takes a, a cohesive effort and education to eradicate any gender bias in sport or any other sector, not only in sport. You're not fulfilling your potential. And those were words that were repeatedly mentioned by my mom. Of course, I've had missteps along the way. And when you're at a certain age, you believe, you tend to believe that you know it all. I guess we've all experienced that age or we've all passed through that phase. In my quiet moments, I would think about those words and try to be a better person. It always motivated me to be a better person. I remember I attended a webinar that was organized by the Advantage All Committee of the International Tennis Federation. And a particular quote, I heard it first there and it resonated with me. It said to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And what it ultimately means is that sometimes it takes great discomfort and route to achieving whatever you aspire to do. But I would like to urge not only young girls or women, I know International Women's Day is coming up and all of the focus is centered on women. However, across the board, I would like to encourage any person, whether a young boy or a girl, or an adult male or female, whatever your goals and aspirations are, there may be barriers, there may be speed humps, 
or any other thing, lack of resources that may hinder you from achieving them. Sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone and loot to achieving what you actually want in life.